Oh, what's going on, everybody? Here, welcome back to some more of the Invincible. We're back. We're doing the things. We're doing the stuff. And today, we're going to explore the tunnel. Oh my gosh! If you missed the last episode, recommend going and checking it out. This is a great story. Oh my gosh, having an absolute blast here. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna pop into. Uh, we're gonna pop into this tunnel and see what they found. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, like I said. Uh, highly recommend watching the previous episodes first because uh, they're very good, very very fun stuff. But let's go ahead, let's get in here. Oh, there's a person. Journal updated. Okay. Oh my gosh, we're going into the hole. Oh, what's in the hole? What is in there? All right. Here we go. I'm not looking forward to this. The last time somebody went in this hole, One step at a time, Yasna. They came running One step out. At a time. I can hear a rhythmic, metallic sound coming from beyond the tunnel. Sir, something's still Take your time, yes, sir. Oh my god. I can't, I can't hear. I don't understand you, sir. The audio's breaking up. It sounds like a walking anti-map. I'll get back to you once I reach the end. Okay. It's an Arctan. Coming at me. Huh. Carrying something. Oh my god. He's walking in a circle. It's walking in a circle. Uh oh. I got out. Well, to inside a cave. Yes, can you hear me? Over. Copy that. Ah, oh. I don't feel too. My head feels like it's bursting from pressure. Breathe, Yasna. You need to rest. Okay, I see these no. over here. No. I'm better now. All right, then. Can you tell me what's in there? There's a robot. Seems like this robot started a task and then got stuck in a loop. What task? Carrying boxes. It took one but never left. Why do you think it's stuck? Well, it goes in circles, using the same path. Okay. Oh my gosh. Full of metal bushes. Is this going to attack me? Well, the lower parts of the bushes are, how to put it, fruitless. So the alliance came to pick the fruits. I'm pretty sure the box is filled with research material. Those fruits. Hmm. Could you retrieve them somehow? It won't be easy to snatch a crate from its steel grip. I'll come closer first. Oh, gosh. Oh, there's more things over there. How come I feel like this thing's gonna wanna attack me? So, fruitless? Oh my gosh. Okay. It's not doing anything. All right, we better I guess we're going to go look this way first. I mean, there's something down here. What do we got? What now? Oh. Oh. Wow. I think their crew took some soil samples. There's this chip rock revealing what lies beneath the surface. Which is 
More metal? Yes, a metal interior. Oh, hello. So these are the Alliance people. Oh, I don't want to go down there. This looks like a terrible idea. Oh, you know what? Lucky for me, I don't think I can go down there. Okay. Oh. Roots are exposed as well. They're not embedded in any rock, but in a tissue-like alloy. Metal bushes growing out of metal soil. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So all the bushes in this area, and there are plenty of them as I understand, appear to grow on the rock, but deep down their roots are embedded in metal. Perhaps you should take a closer look at them, Doctor. Okay. Now it's going to want me to continue on, huh? Probably. Can you please check them, yes, sir? Do you have anything specific in mind? Doctor, if it's all metal... Then I'll use a detector. Right. Oh, okay. I'm checking. Give me a sec. Perfect. Everything matches. There's metal all around. And the bushes have a direct connection with the whole system. Hmm, interesting. Sounds similar. So the structures I saw following Gorski? Yes. Huh. Well, perhaps it's... It looks like two generations. One, old, dead, a relic. Second, these bushes... All grew in the remains of the former generation. Hang on. Are you saying that this new generation is alive? Don't know. And the old one used to be alive? We can't rule it out. Can't you say that as a biologist? I haven't heard you mention cells, membranes, organs, or green bodies. Which leads me to one conclusion. That thing is not alive, Doctor. Well, we're used to calling all life protonaceous, especially ourselves. But that's on us. The universe doesn't give a damn about our classifications. Yes, sir. Are you abandoning your profession? What you have learned, discovered, researched so far? I'm just... Opening up to the unknown. Oh, shit! Uh -oh. I can't handle it anymore. Uh oh. What the heck? I'm not even moving. Oh. Oh, we bumped it. Follow the arctan. We bumped the arctan and it caused it to go. The robot disappeared. You must have broken its loop. I didn't. Well, you must have done something. Never mind. We'll try to locate it. But first of all, get out of there now. Huh, I found the robot. It hasn't gone far. Please follow it. Oh man. Uh, where's the Arctan? Where's the big the anti-mat tank? Okay, the Arctan's right there. The anti-mat thing's right there. That one of these one of these anti-mat things is gonna come to life. <gasps> oh my God, it's moving. Oh, jeez. Oh, fuck. And you can't even hide fuck, behind anything with up. this guy either. Oh. The robot. No, no, the anti mat. You need to act fast. No. It will kill me if I. Yes, sir. Are you alive? Maybe if we get close enough to it. You destroyed the robot. 
what we're doing now. Oh god. Oh no. It's, it's over. The, the probe won't come this time. Yes, no. Stay calm. It won't come. No. Don't die on me now. I'm begging you. Don't give up. You can't. Wait. I saw my phone. She hit me. All my decision. I decided to accept this mission. How did I survive? Wait. You said you had a choice. Yes, sir. Your life. If you could reject it, why didn't you? After a series of successful missions, are you safe now? Safe enough. And the antimatter? He decided not to shoot me after all. Please continue, sir. Okay. Mm, I'm all is. You will agree that we were doing very well. Outstanding results. That's how it ought to end. Well. Yes, I fully agree, but then it seemed this could have been the crowning achievement of the entire expedition. Just imagine. You could have at least asked us. I did wrong. I know that now. I will never forgive myself for it. Neither do I expect you to. I can forgive. Oh, to hell with it. I can't really blame you. After all, you're the commander. It's your job to make decisions like that. And live with the consequences. Right. It means a lot to hear that from you, Yasna. Thank so... you. So... So, it didn't shoot what me. What do we do now? Will you finally let me send Hopper for you? I, I can't just fly away. Now more than ever. I won't rest until I find out what happened to our people. And what we can do to aid them. Check out the rest of the convoy. It didn't... It. That's what I... Mm. For now, you can forget about the research material. Mm. The only thing left of the Arctan is its feet. Considering all the factors, I would assume everyone in the convoy is dead. If there's anything more to learn, it's from the recording devices. The first antimatter told us a lot. Oh my gosh, okay. Destroyed. You spoke about the probe. Oh. Should be a valuable source of information. There's... And the rovers. Are they on the convoy list? There's stuff growing on... On the, the, the tree things are growing on the habitats. What is going on here? Okay, so here's a rover. Actually, it's right in front of me. Why did you die, though? Why even bother with security measures when they just leave keys in locks anyway? Well, you're on a different planet. Extremely unreasonable of them. But it's nothing to complain about, is it? So, let's hear it. Hello, base. This is Antka. Hello, Antka. Tesla here. I can hear you. Reporting. 25th day of the mission, 7.15 a.m. We oh, arrived. So bad. I saw it on the slide. We encountered a terrain obstacle, but it has been removed. You can skip ahead if you would. We've established permanent access to the extraction site, separated the material for research. Now we're securing the first transport. Dr. Boza and Osterhaus have already begun their preliminary research here on site. Gotcha. I'm passing it on. Let us know if there are any updates. Of course. Over and out. Huh, th there's more. Base, come in. Dr. Boza wants to talk with you. Test luck here. Over. We have a sort of discovery. Oh, I'm listening. 25th day. Base, this is Boza. Doctor, these tiny crystals contain highly advanced technology. Individually, they are slender and helpless. However, when in a group, they seem to stimulate and support each other. Nanotech. Revealing Some kind of nanotech. Properties. At first, they started to emit an electromagnetic field. Okay. 
And then? A handful of small crystals gathered together. When in a larger group, they activated and... This is our biggest revelation so far. They started floating in the air. Did I hear that right? The larger the group, the easier, more freely. Yes. Apparently it's flying. Like a swarm of mechanical flies. Slow down, Doctor. You say crystals, or rather flies. Which one is it? Call it whatever you want. These creatures have a precise threefold symmetry, resembling the letter Y, with three pointed arms connecting in a central bulge. Black as coal in direct light, shimmering with shades of blue and olive in reflected light. As my colleague Osterhaus mentioned, they somewhat resemble the abdomens of certain terrestrial insects. Is Markovnik there? Navigator's unavailable right now. Well, please let him know we'll submit our reports as soon as he's available. Oh, and have him send us another transporter, will you? Autonomous robots the size of flies. Mm. It's not finished. Nanotech. Let's keep listening. It's Hello, convoy. Anka, come in. Are you there? Yes, yes, I'm here. We're finishing loading. Preparing to depart. Don't! Mm, gets tense. Leave the material behind and return to the base. Huh. But why? What happened? Scouts came back from this whole city. Tesla? What's going on? Hello? Tesla, come in. Navigator speaking. Don't take anything. Just get out of there. Immediately. That's an order. Last saved recording. What? Amazing. Microbots grouping and flying together, similar to flies, capable of affecting other machines, even to the point that those affected become dangerous to humans. The microbots, they must be dangerous as well. I don't know how, but not all people were killed by larger robots. I think I've figured it out, partially at least. The Alliance scientists were very clear that all of this had to do with an electromagnetic field, the field emitted by these flies. When people displayed disturbing symptoms, field measurements showed above average values. At first, I thought it was a sensoric malfunction after all the machines were broken. It turns out that field damaged them. So all the malfunctions occurred afterward. Why didn't I think of it sooner? Prolonged exposure to strong electromagnetic fields can be harmful to the human brain. Usually it concerns the long-term effects, months and years of unfavorable conditions. Please elaborate, Doctor. What sort of effects? Various brain dysfunctions. It may even lead to the arrest of vital organs. So that's how... merit. <sighs> Most probably. So Another that's... known effect of the EM field is... Memory loss. loss. The human organism continues to function normally, but the human being is such as helpless, vulnerable. Like a baby, they don't understand the world around them. Can such a person learn the world anew? I can't be sure. There's no precedence. Even if there is room for development, learning everything all over, they won't, they won't remember anything. Even language, their past, our voyages together, let's face it, this new life of theirs will be far from normal. They'll be aged children, walking curiosities, oddities, lab rats, all that made them gone to hell. Perhaps researching those flies will help us to better aid our people. We're theorizing for now. It'll be worth examining. Confirm, at least. Got it, Astrogator. I'll search for those containers of flies. Interesting. Okay, let's see. So the EM field is what's causing all these issues. Um, so it gives me the option to move those and turn. Oh. Radar on, sound on. I don't see anything on radar. All right, well, I guess we're leaving. Okay, so nanobots, huh? I've located one of the transporters, sir. 
Please don't celebrate yet, though. Something strange has happened to it. Get to the point, please. What's wrong with it? It's covered the in the bushes. The outer shell is damaged. There are holes everywhere. Like from bullets? No. It looks like it's been corroded by strong acid. It's the nanobots. They, they can get through anything. Oh, yeah. Like they're just eating holes and everything. Oh, my gosh. The door to the cargo bay has budged a little, but it won't open fully. Oh, there's an Arctan in there. <coughs> oh, God. It's too awkward to squeeze in. The whole vehicle is just stuffed with bushes. But can you see past them? Not quite yet. Oh, God, I don't want to see past them. I can see the Arctan right there. Like, I don't want to get close. That thing's going to move and try to kill. I already know. Oh, my God. Now. Fresh containers. I can see broken containers. Oh, it's like they let out what was ever inside of them. No it. sign of the flies. Just plenty of bushes. You have some theory, sir. Everything that comes to my mind seems absurd. Whatever was in those broke, as causing all this it, stuff no to get out. No idea is too absurd right now. I haven't quite thought it through. Not yet. Maybe after I listen to your assessment. Well, look, I think it might work like this. The bushes and flies have a symbiotic relationship. I even consider that the flies are part of the bushes. Just like the fruits. If the flies can fly, they behave more like insects. And the bushes like plants. I see we're getting back to biological analogies. According to your profession, do I correctly conclude that you are confident that this can be a life form? Given the age of the oldest forms and the evidence of continued activity, Differentiation, a particular drive towards miniaturization, improvement, and lethal effectiveness. I dare say that we are dealing with an evolution here, far longer than that of human. Also very different, and dead. Necroevolution. Mortuus evolutio. Oh. I still don't understand where this change is coming from. Necro what if I said that the flies and bushes are the same thing, but in different forms? When they need to move, they develop moving parts, the flies. When they need to multiply, expand their volume, they settle on the metal substrate, form bushes, absorb raw material, and they are again ready to transform and relocate to a new source, and so on and so forth. Well, I can tell you it's the most sophisticated form of being I've ever heard of, with all the skepticism that comes with it. Well, it sounds like, like any kind of, like, parasite or anything. All right. Well. Interesting. Mm-hmm. I'm curious to see what was inside those containers, though. So we have a force field here. I feel like I need to get in there. The second transporter is under a force field. It's hovering above the ground. So it is operational. Probably also in better shape than the other one. Uh, it certainly looks better. The cargo may be intact then. Find a path to get under the force field. Under the force field. Okay. Uh, all right. <laughs> I can't access any of this stuff. Well, I guess we're going that way.
because I mean, we did notice this thing over here. Uh oh, we got another. We got another body. Okay, so this canyon right here might be our, our way in. Ooh. Small ledge here. I'm still here, if you're wondering, sir. <laughs> it all just takes longer than expected. I know the situation. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. We're in this together. Uh-oh. Astrogator, I found their probe. Looks like it hid from the flies. Or just ended up here by pure luck. Luck, indeed. Its registry could be valuable. Especially if it managed to photograph everything from a greater distance. Oh. It's taking pictures of me. Oh, come here, little probie. <laughs> Oh, that didn't work. It flew right. away. We're following Scared it. Of you too? Uh, I'd rather say that my lack of authorization is more of a problem than me being scary. I won't be able to bring the probe down unless I find a working controller. <coughs> did we get under the force field? Oh, we did. I got inside the field. Do you copy, sir? Of course. The force field doesn't block radio waves. Awesome. I suggest the following. If this transporter is actually running, it doesn't make any sense to take out the containers and carry them with you. You're going to take the whole transport. You'll have the flies in large numbers and a powerful means of transport that can fly over terrain inaccessible to the rover. But before you leave, you need to take down the force field. So first, the Energobot. Turning off the force field, then transporter. Departure. All clear? All right. All good and clear as the sky is blue. Just waiting for things to go sideways. All right, so we need to get in here. Is the probe still with you? Yes, it's around here. Somewhere. Shield power. Just as I thought, the equipment's still active, but everyone here is dead. The field is no longer a problem. Disabled. Okay. Did that field uh, melt that rock? All that's left is to get the flies out of there. Those force fields melted that rock? That's crazy. I'll get the flies out of here. This is I'm a cool climbing flying onto thing. the hovering transporter. Before you leave though, please check that the cargo is intact. Oh gosh. It's fine. I hope. Will this really help our people, Astrogator? It will, I'm sure. So what? Off we go? Yasna, what are you wondering about? Uh, yeah, sure. I got lost for a moment there because of the flies. Now you'll have a lot of time to think about it. I, I wonder... If you'll be able to leave you this transport. Of course. I'm on it. Although, first, I'd like to see them up close. Very well. Just hurry up. Eh. Dirt. Oh, 
Oh. Wow. Oh. I must admit. That's cool. Amazing. They're gonna break and get out of there. Yasna, what have you done? I I'm watching them. Nothing more. Don't worry, sir. What? What? A black hole? Oh, I can't go that way. If you were wondering, sir, how large a group of these flies could be. That's a large group of flies. Tell you. Be gigantic. Yeah, why would we just stand here? Uh, did we close the door behind us or anything? Probably coming for the other ones. They had like some sworn mentality. What the heck? What is going on? Oh, this is okay. We're we're going back. Hello. Dragonfly. I, I fell, but everything's all right. I'm fine. Oh shit! That's good. They're alive. These bushes. Something's flying out of them. We've seen this before. Uh, it's those creatures. They're the ones doing it. Oh my gosh. So that, because that was a memory of before. Fuck! The same thing over and over again! No wonder we finally ran out of luck. Too much of this damn curiosity. Who needs to know what might kill us? I, I don't know if I should interrupt your, uh, speech, sir. It is quite interesting to listen to. Yes, sir. <laughs> this is too much. I'll ask you how many times already. <laughs> The fourth time, if I counter correctly. But I'm not planning another. The first four weren't planned either. At least we learnt the truth about this planet. And the inorganic beings that inhabit it. What good does that do us, though? We know the cause of the stupor. Maybe we can find a way to cure Koval. If anyone from the Alliance survived, and they already started their research into a cure... I wouldn't count on it. It's more likely they're all dead. Not necessarily. It's a large base, and I only found a few bodies. The rest of them must be somewhere. Or you'll find more corpses, Yasna. Hey! The balloon is gone. Something changed. The balloon over the base disappeared. You mean it flew away, or did it fall to the ground? Oh, mm. I hope it's a latter. If it caught the west wind... Who would have fallen in this area? Is it right there? We're lucky. It's hanging from a cliff, close to the ground. Can you get to it? Unhook it. Maybe that won't be necessary. Oh, shit. Wait, what did I miss? Somebody's here. If all you're seeing is dots on the tracker. No. I can see them with my own eyes. 
Two of them, even. Oh, right there. Two people, alive. Why are they standing there? Where did they go? Have you lost them? Well, I can't see them now. They were here just a second ago. Are you sure? What did they look like? One was wearing an Alliance suit, a green one. The other one, I don't know. He looked different. I see. And now they are nowhere to be found. Damn right. Oh, just a moment ago, my consciousness was over the ocean. I saw a big black cloud that appeared out of nowhere, which I then forgot. And now these ghosts... That's what I'm talking about. The sight of them was so vivid. Just for a moment. I've been looking for someone for so long. I suggest focusing on what's certain. That balloon is still there, is it not? Yep. If it had operational cameras, we might get some answers. You don't have to convince me, Astrogator. How do we get down there? I'm going. The rover is nearby if needed. Good to know. Thank you. Okay. How are you feeling? <laughs> Let me just say this. Literally everything hurts. I don't know where frustration ends and a contused lung begins. But at least. Yes. Guess we're all this way. You know what, sir? It was these flies from the very beginning. What do you mean? My accident, for example. It, it's true, I, I hurt myself badly back then, damaged the radio. But that's not why I lost my memory. Soon after, flies flew from the bushes. Right. There were bushes there too. They subjected me to an electromagnetic field. Moreover, I believe the same thing happened to our people in the camp. To the antimat in those tunnels. And to the whole convoy. Yes. So basically these things fly around and make people forget about them. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's a survival tactic, right? Anytime anybody sees you, they forget about you immediately. They could come up with like a whole character, like called the silence or something about that. <laughs> I don't know exactly where I'm supposed to be going here. <laughs> Uh, oh, maybe that way right there along that rock. Let's see. Oh, is this where our, is this where we, the road? Oh. No. Was this where we had the rover before? No, it's not. I think it was. Didn't we have, no, it's not. I think it's a different place. Status? Nothing's changed, Astrocator. Understood. There's a rover. There's a rover just rolled in. It just roved right in. There's no way. But we saw it rove in. What the heck? Maybe it was just supposed to have loaded in. Oh, you know what? It has a brain thing on it. That's right. It's got the brain dealio thing. So it might be able to, he might be able to control it. What's new? Well, nothing really. At least not in the last five seconds, sir. Huh? Right. Thank you. Okay. Looks like we're going to go down here. Oh, yeah. I remember where we're at now. Okay. This is where we looked at the big hole. Big metal thing came out of the ground. Balloon.
Is the balloon like right here somewhere? I'm getting close to this fallen balloon. Oh, here we go. <laughs> ah, what's so funny? Uh, oh, nothing, sir. It's just in my mind it sounded like like the title of some Renaissance painting. The Fallen Balloon of Regis. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> okay, so let's see what we got with this balloon here. I found the recorder. The Fallen Recorder of Regis. <laughs> Please stop. Unlock. Hit the button. Take the slides. From the top. Let's see. The balloon goes up. Okay. You can see the immediate surroundings of the base. They're operating at full capacity. The base is active. Huh. I didn't see that from below. They parked several vehicles on top of a nearby hill. Probably why I couldn't see them from below. Huh. The balloon is moving away from the base. Which direction? Approximately south. It found some water reservoirs, many of them. Rocks, I wonder if... water, sand. Anything noteworthy? No, not really. I wonder if that's what no they're going for. No people, units, nor significant changes in the surroundings. I also wonder if the water is preventing those, uh... Uh, the balloon's completing its loop. It seems quieter at the base. Stops them from going in the water. There's still a few people. Something. They're grouping up. A dozen people gathered in the square. Next to the vehicles. Two vehicles that weren't there before. Oh, they've left. There are no vehicles. There's no one. They must have set off towards their old base. Or to the ship. But why didn't they wait for the convoy to return? Maybe they didn't know the others were in trouble. Doubtful. It was after the clouds attack. Well then, apparently that's how the Alliance treats its people. Lousily, without dignity. Mm. The subsequent shots are similar to each other. They show an empty base. There are actually quite a few of these. Why? Oh. It captured the moment I entered the base. Oh. And it's empty again. At two o'clock in the afternoon. I was on my way to the convoy by then. So we won't find out anything else. What well, what brought it down? Wait, you're wrong. Someone was in the base. A man. I don't even so see this man. After all. Yes, I, I'm not crazy. I saw him. I never suggested you were. You thought you then thought Nevertheless, I, I apologize. Shouldn't have doubted your words, Jasna. But where is this man now? And can we expect any more? I think he's near the base. Charging by the last slide. The Alliance must have a hideout there. And we need to go back, I guess. Oh, fantastic. Back to the base. Back to find a super secret hideout. <laughs> there. Hello, Doctor. Decades of space travel have instilled a certain conviction in me. I think people can be more dangerous and deceitful than anything else we may encounter on our journey. I know that. 
Sometimes I think the presence of humans is the worst thing that happened in space. Or to space, even. And why do you insist on seeking them out? Because I also believe in human goodness. The selfless desire to help others. I can't believe otherwise. Oh, that probe again. Is it flying near the base? Within range of the control center? Uh, affirmative. I don't see this probe. Do you expect me to rummage through the enemy's equipment? Again? Well, in my opinion, the more we learn while delaying our encounter with the Alliance, the better. So, what will it be, Doctor? Agreed. I'm curious to see what it's recorded. Especially since it witnessed what happened to the convoy. Is that thing? No. It's not alive. Okay. Let's see. Is this the drone right here? Oh my god, dude. That thing. Oh my god. It scares the bejesus out of me every single time. There's the hideout. Where's the drone? I could have spent countless days in this base and still not discovered their hideout and it's right above my head okay i think all i needed to do was look up so think... this means there's a view of the entire base from up there mm -hmm. i'll confirm when i get there but i know it's on your mind sir i could have been under surveillance ever since i arrived here okay so we need to land the other drone now so the one let's see let's try this one nothing there's one drone that we couldn't control let's see if it was on this one right let's meet this probe i'll bring it to the ground or Can I go check out the landing site? All right, let's just land this thing. Okay, so we landed. Let's go ahead and get out of here. And we'll go see if we can get the records from it. Yes, sir. Everything's all right? Yes, yes. I just need a moment to think. Uh, as soon as you find something... I'll report it. No worries, sir. Um, how am I supposed to get this? Hmm. Apparently this isn't landed. So ascend. 
Oh, you know what? It's because the landing site's on the other side. <sighs> this mission drags it's supposed to land on, on this so side. much. Oh, I'm a dummy. Sometimes I think you're going to take off without me, sir. <laughs> Don't count on it, Doctor. I'm not going anywhere. Ha! Got it All done. right. Landed. Now I should be able to go and access it. Okay, let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. All right, you little drone. Let's see what you got. This might tell us even I'm more of the story. Slides. Okay, so it launched. Found the bushes. There's them going into the hole. Oh, wow. The cloud in all its glory. What? Both fascinating and terrifying at the same time. People don't stand a chance. The cloud caught up to them and killed. Uh, no. Not what is that? that? It didn't kill anyone, but oh, that's the transport. Them all, which is even worse than death. That probe managed to evacuate, waited still until I approached it. Interesting. Oh, and then there's the swarm attacking us. We know what happened after. And then, yep. Take a picture of me, get the thing. In the rover. And that's it. Okay. Well, let's go check out the secret hideout then, shall we? Um, all right, let's just go forward. <laughs> There's no backup camera on this thing, so. Okay, the uh, secret hideout is right up here. What do you think is going to be in the secret hideout? Super secret squirrel stuff? Okay, now which way was it? It was... Uh, my legs feel really heavy. Give yourself a moment to rest, Doctor. Up you here. certainly deserve it. So like they have an alien, they have a base on an alien planet that's not inhabited by anybody, but they still needed a hideout. <laughs> like, talk about paranoid much. Okay, so can I go up here? No. Oh, we gotta go right up here. Okay, forget just walking right up there. You know, we gotta go up this rock right here. <laughs> I feel like we're taking the hardest way possible. I mean, maybe, you know what? Maybe that slope is super steep. Okay. Start of climbing. I mean, that's that's a good view. That's a good view. I have to climb without safety equipment. All right. This is nowhere to be seen. No alternative route. Nope. I mean, it's not that high. Uh oh, here we go. Falling to our death. I'm, uh, I'm all right. I'm almost there. Perhaps it's the last moment to go back. And do what? As far as I remember, we ran out of options here. It's just, if I were you. With all due respect, Astrogator, it is me being stuck on this surface. So if you let me, I'll take my chances. And I will. I will find the man. All right. Oh. Is that for you? It's a good view. I made the climb worth it already. So you're on top? Yes. Activity within radius? I heard no beeps. And I see no dots. Oh, shit. 
Oh, hey. What? Oh, he's got I a ray gun. Him. Very well. Now keep your distance and be careful. It's too late. What? I can't hear you. It's too late to keep... He doesn't have a helmet on. Why is it too late? Jasna, speak to me. He's looking for others. He's... <laughs> you. What have you done? Shit. He found you too. Why? And he's blaming us. What did it gain you? That's not good. Listen, I don't know what you're blaming me for. Get up. Oh. So much for talking. Jasna, don't provoke him. If you would just listen to me for one moment. I said get up. I mean, we found somebody. Oh, where are we going? Where are we going? You don't need to be afraid. I, I come in peace. Huh, save it. I guarantee you'll have time to talk later. What? A... Just keep your mouth shut for your own good. Okay, stay calm. He's going to lead you to his superiors. Which cool. Is good in theory. Although... Maybe not so good. Or he's lost his marbles and he has no idea what we're doing. Oh my gosh, I have no idea what's gonna happen here. Uh oh. Weird. Uh. Wait. Don't move. Okay. He didn't even spare the Arctan. Got some nerve to unleash such murderous shit. Oh. Hey, don't turn around. You're a scientist, just like me. Jasna, what are you doing? You don't shoot at people. Shoot. He has a gun. <laughs> I'm a technician, smartass. Firearms or chemical weapons. What's the difference? Same outcome. Look, I know that people have died. Your comrades. But you have to understand. Huh. I see you're no longer pretending. Listen, you'll stand before the Astrogator or the entire council. That's right. Obviously. It's really not necessary. But if you try anything, I'll do it. I'll shoot you. Yasna, I don't know what you're trying to do, but he sounds serious. Uh, no, Victor, shut up. <laughs> Take it easy, please. I'll handle him. Huh? What are you babbling on about? You have a death wish. Only short answers from now on. I'll ask the questions and you'll answer with a short yes or no if you think it's safe to do so. Or some code. Maybe grunts. <laughs> Do you understand? Uh... Do as you see fit. I'll help as best <laughs> I can. Is there anyone else? Uh... Apart from him? Uh -uh. Okay, leave it, Yasna. Let's focus on something else. <sighs> Start, damn it. Uh... Do you want to tell me something about this man? Something... about his appearance, maybe? <laughs> no! When it rains, it pours, huh? Nuh-uh. Understood. In that case... It works. Let's go. Break time's over. I can hear something's happening. It's about time. Oh. Do you think you could ask? Where are you taking me? You came here yourself. So what are you expecting, huh? Don't risk it. Let it go. Judging by the accessibility of this place, uh... It's some kind of secret location. A, a, a base carved into the rock. You gotta be kidding me. You're gonna be fucking disappointed. No. There you have it. This is why you're here? First the attack and now espionage? Oh my you gosh. Dogs. You've got no honor. He thinks that we attacked him somehow with something. Yes, no, I'm losing you. The signal is getting weaker. Wherever he's leading you, we won't be able to communicate. Good. <laughs> uh -huh. Get in. Go, Yasna. Stay calm. I, I, I don't want to. Go. Yasna, I'm here. <sighs> I'll do everything in my... Hmm. Okay. I have no idea what we're doing in this underground base, but I like it. 
gonna guess we're gonna follow the black line. Can we speed this up? I thought we were almost there by now. Hey, oh. Well. I guess this is our base, huh? Sit here. And don't you dare move. I have something for you. What the heck? That's even more than we need. What the heck? This guy's like walking around on all fours. Oh, it's because he's he's all stupefied. It's for your safety. He's all stupefied. Uh, he has no idea what he's doing. What about our friend? Still cranky? Uh, I've always thought the speleologists weren't exactly the funny types. Although Spliscus the speleologist sounds pretty damn hilarious. Come on, you must be hungry. Yeah, so they lost their like memories and stuff because that's what they were saying that they like lose so much of their memory and they become basically a child. Oh. For now. Wouldn't be able to swallow anything anyway. Spluskas, my friend. It's just me. Take it easy. You're safe. But you have to eat something to have strength. Oh gee, don't do that. It's tasty. Eat. Come on, eat. Did you like it? <laughs> no. Very nice. A few more. Unfortunately, I don't have any good news. I've searched the caves. I know Dr. Magdov went down there. If only you could tell me which cave she worked in. Maybe it would be easier then, if only you could. Sebulon has also gone missing without a trace. I don't even know where to look. And the whole convoy crew. I'll go there tomorrow. Maybe by then, with reinforcements. Yeah. And it went smoothly. And he objected so much. You gonna talk to me now, guy? So they think that we did this, that we released this thing on these people. This dude's gonna, he's gonna bite me. He's gonna eat me. who I am and you don't listen she's lying too sorry I need to restrap you I'll be broadcasting mm. and you mind your own business Bridge, Rohitra speaking. Huh. Rohitra. Can you hear me? Over. You're still not getting through. This is an urgent announcement. It's the 26th day of the mission, 1300 hours, 42 minutes. I am reporting the presence of Commonwealth units on the surface of the planet. I have arrested one person. It's a woman, unarmed. I haven't noticed any other people or other units nearby. But this person was in active radio contact. I'm requesting backup. Over and out. <laughs> hey, Milos. Backup for Hope one. You're still in range. Human. Listen, the Commonwealthers are here. I have one of them, uh, a woman. She was talking to someone on the radio, but I didn't see anyone around. Okay. 
I see what you're doing. <clears throat> I just wanted to sit more comfortably. Yeah, sure. Better get comfortable with discomfort. We'll sit around for a while. My name's Yasna. Mm, not that I'm asking. You're Rahitra, right? <clears throat> I work as an astrobiologist. <sighs> Rather as a spy. Don't eavesdrop on me, Yasna. Don't talk to me. <laughs> don't don't I, eavesdrop on me. I just wanted to ask. Don't ask. <laughs> uh, so what now? Uh, talk to the wall? <laughs> I'm not prohibiting you from doing that. Yet. Uh, shielding, oxygen tank, facial hair. Uh, are you shielding yourself from the flies? Uh, from what? Flies. Y you named them that yourself. I mean, the Alliance did. Mm, seems to me that the commanding staff will have a lot to talk to you about. Fortunately, I don't have to. Do you have air filters here? <sighs> did you know there's methane in the atmosphere? I know. These tanks are a temporary solution. Mm. Uh, wait, Condor? Condor what? You. Are you from Condor's crew? Yeah, so? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Here we can agree. You're talking complete nonsense. What do you mean? How come that's such a revelation? The Invincible was supposed to be here soon. Not Condor. Not now. Where did you get this information from? From intelligence. There you go. Will you finally admit what you were up to here? Mm. I'm from the Dragonfly, a small research unit. We're looking for planets with rich flora and fauna. That's the only reason we landed here. <laughs> no way. This planet is a complete corpse. According to estimations, it should be teeming with life. With its atmospheric composition and insulation, it should be a veritable paradise. We couldn't have predicted that- Fine, fine. If you don't want to tell me the whole truth, then don't. <laughs> do not lie. Intelligence is not interested in flowers and bees. Uh, do you smoke? I would if I hadn't run out. Here. There you go, bud. They're laced with poison, though. <laughs> oh, lambs. That's a good brand. <laughs> Coval always smoked them. You need to calm down now. Then you got your Nick Buzz. He's probably Jones in his issue. We gotta finish talking. You're just gonna. Okay. So tell me why you came here. The part about being scientists is true, but we were supposed to see what you were doing here. Or rather, what the Invincible will do here in several days. That makes no sense. The command center has no reason to send a second cruiser to this sector. And yet, they sent you. Hell no. We stopped here by accident, due to work on the main core. I don't understand anything anymore. Neither do I. But I know what's wrong with your comrades. The same thing happened to our people. Mm -hmm. How many of you were there? Six people. Only two of which are still unharmed. Including you? Me and our astrogator. Is he around here too? I'm the only one left on the surface. So... Not many. I told you. We're a simple unit. Here's the rest. Gorski, a cyberneticist. A golden child. Serious beyond his years, yet full of youthful curiosity. He miraculously survived. I gave him my oxygen. Then the lander picked him up. Now I don't even know what state he's in. That doesn't sound like a miracle to me. Huh? What? You saved him, not some dumb luck. Marit, a geologist. Her mind's as sharp as a razor. She's tough on stupidity like no other. She's... She was... A dear friend of mine. Crowter, a chemist. Second in rank to Astrogator. He was mortally wounded while wandering in a stupor. We don't even know how it exactly happened. Koval, our physicist. He's unresponsive now. Always had a gentle nature to him, and a rather peculiar sense of humor. Show them to me. There were 
more of us. Much more. Milos left for Condor with the survivors. Those who were unable to... to do anything, really. I stayed to see if anyone else survived. And so we wait. What a shame. Um, I don't think staying here is a great idea. It's when like was the last time you had something to drink? The last time? I don't even remember. Thought so. It's water. Local, but treated. Go ahead. You must be thirsty after everything you've been through. Yeah. No thanks. I not see. not local water. So all in all, we don't trust each other, do we? Do you really know what's wrong with them? I know what caused it. And how. This planet is inhabited by microbots. That your scientists have called flies. Millions of microbots. A real cloud. What? A cloud of flies. Which can literally erase the human mind. Wash away all memories. That sounds... It somehow look I around could, you if you released me you got a nice try we'll do as follows you got a guy right there to go over there and i'll keep an eye out for me loss as soon as he returns with help you will show us this cloud arc 10 come to me supervisory procedure one person a woman no alliance id targeted i confirm should i start the surveillance yes guard our guest oh, great Well then. Oh, my neck. Sneak out of the Allies' hideout. Oh. Well, alrighty then. But that's gonna end this episode. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you did like, subscribe, all the fun things. We'll be back with some more. I have no idea how many more episodes we got, but it is good so far. So um, yeah, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. I'm excited because like I have no idea what's going on here. This is the, not the people that we thought was gonna be here, but like I wild wild revelations going on so um yeah thanks again for coming out have a wonderful day see you in the next one bye everybody